<gasps> oh no, clouds again. There's no way I can place my telescope outside tonight. <sighs> Maybe I can take the opportunity to improve my Dobsonian. Perhaps some mod. That's it. And that's what I did and I will show you in this video how I modified my 8 inch Dobsonian to store it properly. I usually store it as it is, with a tube over the rocker. So no separation and saving more space. The thing is, I can lift easily the Dobsonian. However, a few weeks ago I hurt my back lifting all the Dobsonian. So I thought it's time to change something here. And I decided to do the same thing I did with my 12 inch Dobsonian, to add 3 legs to it. With the three legs, I can easily place the Dobsonian on the ground, on vertical, without messing with the collimation knobs. It's not recommended to place the Dobsonian tube vertically with the collimation knobs directly touching the ground. So the three legs are the ideal solution. However, in my 12-inch Dobsonian, I had already three threaded holes on the bottom so I only had to screw the legs. In the 8-inch Dobsonian I don't have them, so I have to screw those three holes. I had to drill. So I thought, while I do that, I can clean my primary mirror, having two jobs in one at the same time. First, let's detach the primary mirror. Now take off the mirror clamps. I always use one bottle of distilled water with a single drop of dish detergent. Using my fingers, and this is important, always under water to clean the mirror surface, very gently. And at the end I use a new bottle of distilled water. However, in this case I only use pure distilled water, there was no need for more. And yes, you are seeing well, I'm using a bit of saliva from my mouth, which enzymes are good for the cleaning process. Just a bit, not to split all over the mirror, of course. And like that I avoided to use the dish soap. Shake, shake, shake and ready to dry. Just place it vertically over a towel and do all of this process inside the house. I'm doing it outside for the video only. Marking the three holes on the base in a lazy way. The correct way would be take off all the knobs and the springs and work on the other side. Anyway, these are the legs I bought and I leave the link at the description. As I will use a crimper these are the threads measures. It's good to have threads but you don't really need it. As I'm using them I have to drill a 10 mm hole. Now let's drill. And as you can see I was not careful and had a mistake. It's not a problem but it was by my laziness. I'm sure you can do it better. And after drilling the three holes I had to clean very well all this mess. Loads of debris that are very important to clean. And after that you will have the base in excellent condition and ready to go. And now crimping. Unfortunately, as I'm no expert on this, only two of the three threads were placed well. One of them didn't work and after spending all the rest of my M6 threads without success, I decided to leave the hole just like that, without a thread. And it worked. I used locking nuts and washers and it stay well. The truth is, you don't really need the crimper. It's enough, we just drill the three holes. Then you can attach the three legs without needing to screw. And now with the primary mirror properly cleaned, let's install it in the base and then inside the tube. Carefully place the mirror 
at the base without touching the surface. I will use my blower to carefully take off the rest of the dust debris using both ends to avoid any accident. Place the clamps and tight with the fingers. Then with a Phillips screw leave just the thickness of a paper, almost touching the mirror. Insert the base in the tube and tighten the screws. It's very very important when marking the leg holes, you do it in a way that any of the legs touch the central bolt. As you can see here. By the way, I have much more videos about the Dobsonian, which can give you great ideas. So if you like my work, give it a like to this video and subscribe for more. See? The perfect measures. The telescope can freely move and as a bonus you can use the leg on the top to move the telescope while you're using it. Now let's test on the ground. Perfect. And now with the dust cap I always use. But this is not enough, because if you really really want to have good results with your 8 inch Dobsonian, you got to do more modifications to it. And to help you in that, you have 5 modifications here in the video, and another 5 here in another video, that you can watch and take these 10 ideas to boost your 8 inch Dobsonian performance, and get very nice views and images.